representing the post on the role of price and consumption in banana irrigation in property measurement. And we are reassessing our situation in Uganda, uh, given the official. Several years, perhaps since 1986, when the current government took over, there has been a reported, you know, uh, decrease in poverty and you know a growth in GDP close to 6.8 percent. And uh, uh, since the government had uh, uh, retrieved the Licensing Act, uh, there has been uh, reported improvements in uh, uh, household welfare to the extent that uh, in the 1990s, when there were around 57% of Ugandans living below poverty line, it has currently reduced to uh, close to 24% according to the uh, national accounts. But uh, 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 the national accounts use uh, uh, common consumption bundles and common uh, uh, prices across Uganda, which uh, we know that perhaps might not be a well representative given the heterogeneity within the region uh, based on ethnicity and you know uh, regional differences. So uh, uh, in this study we used the uh, uh, cost of basic needs relying on region specific prices and uh, region specific bundles to re-estimate and reassess poverty uh, estimates for Uganda. So we looked at uh, uh, the kind of trends and controversies within the uh, uh, national estimates. And we are seeing that uh, generally from 1992 to 2000, the trend was a bit uh, reducing according to national estimates and also as uh, adopted from uh, Upton uh, to zero, uh, 2000. So you are seeing that the uh, national estimates were uh, kind of had a downward trend. But the controversy cited from the national accounts is that uh, the official estimates were based on a single consumption uh, bundle, and yet we know that uh, different regions in Uganda, which actually fall, central uh, much feeds on matoke, which are bananas, and then the north much feeds on cereals, the west much feeds on potatoes, and all these carry different prices, and you know, they are totally different bundles uh, for each region. So perhaps using a common consumption bundle or common prices perhaps will not be uh, well representative. So uh, still we we use the utility consistent poverty lines using reviewed preferences to reassess the situation against the uh, currently prevailing uh, national assessment. And uh, when we uh, make the reassessment, we used we looked at surveys uh, collected by by the Uganda National. Uh, uh, household by the Uganda Bureau of Statistics from 2005 and 06, then 2009 and 010, and then a panel which was uh, uh, for 2010 and 2011. And we constructed the new bundles which we uh, compared with the existing official estimates that were available for the respective years. So uh, from figure three, which, which, is, uh, which is here, we make a comparison of the uh, 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 cost of basic needs poverty lines, uh, poverty lines which were uh, utility consistent against the official poverty lines. But we are seeing that there were some uh, slight differences when you give uh, each region, uh, if you use region specific prices and region specific bundles, we see that there were slight increments uh, given each region from the uh, national estimates. For instance, like the central which was close to uh, 20 percent. Uh, the central, uh, uh, the central uh, region here goes a little above 20 percent using utility consistent uh, poverty lines. So, uh, but uh, what was the reason behind the slight differences? So we found that uh, uh, the prices per kilo calorie of the foods that are consumed mostly for each region were different, actually uh, explaining the difference between the official poverty estimates which were using a common consumption bundle and a common pricing scheme against the one which was region specific and, uh, and uh, region specific in terms of prices and in terms of bundles. So uh, uh, we see here that uh, for the central region where the, uh, uh, we, we had the uh, uh, utility consistent poverty line which was uh, close to uh, over slightly above 600, uh, 600 Ugandan shillings against the official, which was uh, in the same year, 0506, 
the official was reporting for the central region uh, being a, a little high, but you know, the constant uh, poverty lines were reporting it a, a little low. So after the now uh, after the several comparisons, then we uh, came to conclusions uh, as compared to the reassessment and so on. So we found that uh, even though much of the uh, literature from the official estimates was showing uh, a direct decline or a trend which was of declining poverty estimates, we see that when you use the utility consistent poverty lines, when you look at the national, uh, the, the national poverty line, in the, in the year 20506, it was around 36%, uh, but in the next in the next survey, 2009-2010, it was a little high, okay? And uh, uh, in, the, in the last one, 2010-2011, it was a little low. So uh, we saw that the trend was not uh, as consistent or downwards as had been reported in the, in the, in the national uh, estimates, and you know, there were slight differences. And also, the other finding was that the northern region, which was characterized by much of civil war throughout the decades, was always reported as the poorest. But uh, when we use region-specific uh, food consumption balance and prices, actually find the West being a little uh, poorer than the Northern, because the West and the Central region feed on bananas, which are a more expensive source of calories than the cereals, uh, maybe like sorghum and, and simsim, which uh, are used as basic staples in the North. So uh, that, that was our conclusion that in Uganda, the uh, North, northern region is not the poorest when you consider region specific food prices and consumption panels. And two, the trend is not all uniformly moving downwards as considering poverty uh, estimates for Uganda. Thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome.